Hello, my name is Ben Friedman here from the Bannerverse. It's the Valentine's Day season. And for some reason, if you decided to click on this channel and get a Valentine's Day movie recommendation, first you should find another channel because I don't think I'm going to provide a great title for you. And I don't think I know the first lick about romance. But if you're still on board, I have a movie that I actually liked that I saw this week and that you might have a good time with and I think you and your significant other could enjoy. It's called Somebody That I Used To Know, which is directed by Dave Franco and a screenplay by Alison Brie, who's married to Dave Franco, as well as Dave Franco writing the screenplay. And let's get into this movie now. Thank you for checking out the channel. My name is Ben Friedman. Like and subscribe if you will. And welcome to the Betterverse. Welcome to the Betterverse. My name is Ben Friedman, film critic, and today I am talking about the film Somebody That I Used To Know, which is directed and written by Dave Franco, starring Alison Brie, who also co-wrote the movie. This stars, as well, Jay Ellis, who just, you know, he had a great year in 2022, appearing in Top Gun Maverick. This film also stars Kiersey Clemens and Danny Pudi, which means this is a reunion of Alison Brie and Danny Pudi, who both starred as uh, Annie and Ovid in Community. Big fan of the show Community, so that was enough to pique my interest. But let's get into this movie, Somebody That I Used To Know. So the synopsis of Somebody That I Used To Know, this film follows TV producer Ali, who is played by Alison Brie, on a trip to her hometown. She reminisces with her ex, Sean, and starts to question her life decisions. Things only complicate when she learns that Sean is getting married to Cassidy, who reminds Allie of the person she used to be. Okay, so this is a romantic comedy in the sense that there is romance and there is comedy in this film, but it is far more of a dramedy in the sense that there's much more dramatic than it is ever comedy. And here's what I liked about this film, and it's the biggest reason that I would recommend watching this film, and that's Alison Brie. I think Alison Brie is a very good actress, and she's able to convey a lot with very little. While Dave Franco's direction and writing is maybe a bit too on the nose, and there are literally scenes where you're like, oh, that's clearly what that metaphor is, or oh, that is clearly a allusion to loneliness or oh you're quoting that piece of literature like come on like it has a little bit of an air of somebody who feels smarter than they actually are at times writing and directing this film and I don't think the film somebody that I used to know was ever as clever as they intended this film to be but what does work is Alison Brie she is she's a star she is so good in this role getting you to sympathize with this character who is kind of morally questionable. She, you know, she comes in, she reminisces with her ex, finds out that they're getting married, and then kind of does the home record type thing where she tries to get involved, she tries to put herself in the middle of this. She never leaves it alone and gives them space. And that's her character, yet you're always, like, sympathetic for her. You understand, you feel like she is a good person despite what she is doing is so obviously bad. And it allows you to just buy into this moral complexity of this character and allows this film to have a little bit more weight to it than I think a typical romantic dramedy would. And it's all on her. Everyone else is good in this film, especially uh, Kiersey Clemens, who I think is exceptional in this film as well. I think she pairs very well with Alison Brie. And those interactions between... Uh, Allie and Cassidy, who Cassidy is the person that Jay Ellis' character is now going to marry. It's interesting to see that dynamic, see the character of Allie see herself through Cassidy, kind of be reminded of her youth, her energy 10 years ago, the relationship reflecting with the Jay Ellis character, all of that. That's when the film's at its most interesting, is when it is looking inwards on itself, when it is examining oneself. When the film loses focus of that I don't think it works to as well but again it's so largely due to Alison Brie I think Jay Ellis and Danny Pudi aren't given much to do which is fine in this film Danny Pudi is an actor who I think is interesting I thought he had good comedic timing in this film but the issue is he will always be Abed Nadir to me from Community so there's something just when the comedy hits it still feels a little off-putting because the, I can't disassociate the guy with Ovid. And there's even lines readings where it kind of even sounds like Ovid. And I just maybe either wish it was a different actor 
not next to Alison Brie because it's the situation where you see those two actors together and you're always going to associate them with community. So either Danny Pudi needed to be next to an actress that wasn't Alison Brie or Alison Brie needed to be next to an actress that or actor that wasn't Danny Pudi. Either way, it is what it is. And they have a good chemistry. I will say they have a really close chemistry in this film that works. It's just that some of the comedic lines that Danny Pudi is asked to give and some of the drama that he is asked to deliver never quite hits as hard as it should. But as a tour de force performance for Alison Brie, I think this movie's pretty stand out. I think she's very good in this film. And I will say, even though I just criticized Dave Franco's maybe obviousness in direction, what he lacks in subtlety, I think he captures in human emotion. And there's stuff in this film that feels very real and very true and very personal to him. I think you can see his relationship with Alison Brie brought out in this, his relationship with himself being an, uh, you know, an artist. All that feels relevant in this film, and that really works to wonderful degrees in this film. Overall, somebody that I used to know is a completely serviceable movie that has some good writing in there, has a really strong performance, and yet I still found myself never particularly connected with it. One, the film goes on a little bit too long for my taste. It's just, you scenes feel repetitive. The ending, you kind of know where it's always coming from. You always know that it has to get to that moment, and there's this formulaic nature to it, along with just like I said, there's other characters in this film. Jay Ellis's character gets off a little bit too easy in this film, given everything else in this film. I don't think his character ever feels particularly fleshed out. So it's this, it's this issue of Alison Brie is so good in this movie, but everyone else around her never fully clicks. And this film also struggles with, at times, it feels maybe too raunchy, for its own good, where it is raunchy for raunchy's sake, and it never adds anything in with the humor. There is this. Uh, there are scenes throughout that that I think are supposed to feel free spirited, but just feel like it's just kind of pushing an R or mature rating for no reason other than to just be R rated and mature. So that stuff and those elements bothered me. But overall, watching this film, I had a good enough time. I would never go back and revisit this film, but as an fan of Alison Brie, I did not hate watching this film, and I had enjoyment of it, even if it's not one that I'd ever need to see again. I had a good enough time watching this, and that's a good enough recommendation, honestly. So I am giving somebody that I used to know 2.5 out of 4 stars here at the Metaverse. Anyway, hope you liked that review. Let me know if you did decide to check it out for Valentine's Day. One, I don't know if it's a great Valentine's Day movie. It's a little sad. It's a little dour. I, I choose something a little bit more upbeat. But if you did decide to watch it with Valentine's Day, are you getting a divorce the next day? Did I ruin your relationship? Let me know. My name is Ben Friedman, the film critic here at the Metaverse. Thank you all for watching. Take care and bye-bye.